Struggling with Event ID 1000 error on Windows 10 11 Here are some easy ways to fix it and keep your system running correctly. Press the window key plus X and click Command Prompt, Admin. First, input the following line and press Enter. Then you can enter the script below in the Command Prompt and press the Enter key. Expect the scan to take about half an hour. Restart Windows if the scan repairs system files. Press the Windows key plus R to open the Run accessory. Then you can input msconfig in the Run dialog. Select the Selective Startup option on the General tab, select both the Load System Services and Use Original Boot Configuration options, and deselect the Load Startup Items checkbox. Then select the Services tab, click the Hide All Microsoft Services option and press the Disable All button. Then press the Apply and OK buttons. Press the Restart button to reboot Windows. To add the freeware program to Windows, click the Download Now button. Then open the Software Setup Wizard to install the tool. Open the app, click Registry on the software's window, select all the registry checkboxes, and press the Scan for Issues button. Next, select the Fix Selected Issues option. You can also select Yes to back up the registry beforehand, but you probably won't need the backup. Then click Fix All Selected Issues to fix the registry. The Event ID 1000 error might also be due to corrupt registry entries, so a registry scan with reputable registry cleaner software might also fix the issue. First, open the Run Accessory using Windows plus R, input appwiz.cpl in Run's text box, and hit Enter. Note that earlier Windows platforms include Microsoft Net Framework on the Uninstall or Change a Program List. If you can see Microsoft Net Framework listed there, select it and press the Uninstall button. In Windows 10, you'll need to go to Start and search the Turn Windows features on or off to open the window in the snapshot below. Expand the listed Net Framework components listed there and deselect all their checkboxes. Next, navigate to the Net Framework Cleanup Tools page and click Download. Open the Net Framework Cleanup Tool zip in File Explorer and press the Extract All button to extract it. Open the Net Framework Cleanup Tools window and press the Cleanup Now button. Then restart the PC and check if the problem is fixed.